More Texas businesses can now operate at 75% capacity. That starts today. That does include restaurants, gyms, even office spaces. But can large business districts fully recover as a result of this? Our Steve Pickett went to downtown Dallas today to speak to those who would know best. It is not life as most have known it here. Long-time restaurants closed, the public transit lines lacking commuters, the midday foot traffic along Main Street, or the new Discovery District at AT&T headquarters, now a trickle of the usual overflow of thousands who live and work in downtown Dallas. 70 to 75 percent of our business is the workers downtown, and without anyone downtown, it's been a little tough. Keith Flewellen's Cupcakery on Elm Street has somehow cooked up enough business to stay open since the initial coronavirus shutdown orders. But survival, he says, for Dallas's downtown district as a whole is now dependent upon a sense of safety health-wise. But more so, I'm hoping it's safe. Um, I think it's important that um, we open carefully and not have the spike uh, where we have to shut everything back down. There are 4,000 employers in the Central Business District of Dallas, 135,000 people who work for those companies. It is nowhere close to that number right now. When you take away the number of employees that we typically have on any given day, it makes an impact. Courtney Garrett leads Downtown Dallas Inc. Up to 30% occupancy is being seen in some downtown business centers now, she says. And the governor's allowance of 75% capacity for businesses will indeed help, she believes. Like every other city in the world, we have experienced the same type of impact uh, across the board. But we are better poised to come back than any other market. Heart of the city has clearance to pump life back into its main arteries. But main operators like Keith Flewellen believe it could take another three months before seeing those 130,000 workers return to downtown Dallas. In downtown, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News.